Yo, Vaisanta here. So we're gonna go over version 1.1 preview. So the dev has put out a message and we'll go over it and I'll explain my thoughts as we're reading this. So to give you a sneak preview of what's in store for future updates, we'll share the latest adjust adjustments we're making to the game via developer message. So I guess they're gonna keep doing this before every update. Uh, so we have Dog Eons right around the corner. So we have new tuner synthesis feature. Uh, so pretty much they're allowing us to switch five purples to one premium one. So synthesize a number of medium or advanced tuner into a higher grade tuner using synthesizer. Nice. Increased Union EXP reward for unlocking new echo entries. To leveling to the leveling experience and unlocking the late game content earlier for all players, introduce Union EXP reward for unlocking new entries. So, okay, so the data bank, when you're doing it, you get more Unity XP. And then retroactively, they're giving us Unity XP unlocked during the 1.1 after the update. So we're going to composition the email. Higher cost range for echoes rewarded for activities. Um, so this is activities, the dailies, right? Okay, so they're going to... To improve the cost, we're going to remove one cost echoes. Okay, so now we're getting only three cost and four cost echoes for the activity points for the dailies. Once you accumulate 100, you'll be, by completing the task, you only will receive echo, random echo of three or four quality. Nice. Data bank level cap. So this has been like kind of leaked that we're going to get level 21, which is a guaranteed five star. Oh my God. I wish it came sooner, but yeah. I wonder how they're gonna increase it more. <laughs> they're gonna introduce a uh, six star rarity. Mm -hmm, yeah. More fun um, in Mount Ferment Echo Transformation. Get ready for some fun. In select areas of Ferment, Ferment you can transform to Echo Clang Bang. <laughs> Clang Bang. To explore the area. Stay tuned for more creative Echo puzzles and feature updates. I mean, as long as it's like a button instead of actually. Um, instead of actually uh, having to have it equipped, that would be great. So we'll see. We'll see how that is. So at least they're adding new echoes, right? In the new area. Remove tacit field rewards animation. Thank you. I've been complaining about that, but they did tease that it's going to get removed. They lowered the shell. Yo, I'm broke for shell credits right now. For echo, <laughs> echo level. Like in, in general. Simplify the cruise wing challenge. Oh yeah, it's pretty quick. And they extended the time limit to make the challenge more manageable. It's not too bad if you hold like the down button and you go slower. Maybe they make that the default speed. Um, and then, oh, that's it for the echoes. Where's the increase uh, echo EXP? Huh? Did they actually listen? I don't know, man. <laughs> they seem to be missing the main point, the echo EXP. All right. Um, so we want it in general, right? Uh, are they going to just put in another event? God. All right. Events and other rewards. New Depth of Elusive Realm. This is my favorite mode so far. The, the roguelike mode. Dreams of Blaze and Darkness that would raise event rewards. 1.1, they introduced Dreams of Blaze. Um, mechanic. New mechanic of token symphony rank. And different mimetic tuning. Interesting. So these are like the new buffs. I don't know what tokens are. Uh, symphony rank. Is that the tree? The skill tree thing? To create your own powerful build, for the more the total event increases to one thousand asteroids. Okay, more, more, more. Nice. New area event. So we have an area event to help we prepare two inclusive area events for you: the area exploration event and the photo collection event. I mean, yeah. Okay. Eight hundred asteroid, cream potions, and seal tubes. The tubes is what we need, man. The tubes. Increase convene item exchange. Oh, yo, we're getting seven. I think that by default, we're, it was like three right now. We're getting seven for each installment. So technically, it's like each month, but then they're doubling it and giving it to the next patch. <laughs> okay, so every patch, we're getting seven. All right. So it's better. Yeah, but then you have to wait a little longer. Uh, besides the optimization and tweaks mentioned, version 1.1 also bringing a bunch of cool events. So we have a 7-day login. 
uh, LOL campaign. I'm hoping it's not like super short, like the second time of so coming of Solosis, though that's hella lame. Overdash was hella short too, but I'm hoping it made it longer, make it better. Uh, combat event, I'm, I'm assuming this would be good. It'd be like the alloy smelt. That was pretty good, in my opinion. Eleven material double event after sound abundance. Um, so this is so this is pretty much the same thing we had before, right? Coming back the two X. Uh, when you're talking to that captain dude, and then it gives you double exp, double drops for money, uh, weapon exp and character exp. The echo double. And th so this is coming already in the uh, two days. This is an event, okay? It's not a freaking generalized thing, man. So they technically didn't listen, right? Everyone complained about Echo USB, but nothing changed at one point one. They just give you an event, uh, like, yeah, right. They didn't lower the, the amount of EXP we need to upgrade or anything like that, or how much it returned when you feed. They should just increase, like, the amount of EXP you get back when you complete, like, Getting 90% instead of like 70 or something, or like 95%. <sighs> the main the main problem not addressed here. Come on. <laughs> a lot, I, see, we're going to get a lot of videos that say, oh, the devs listen. They technically didn't listen, and they technically did listen. So they're like partial listening. So did they listen? Like completely? No. Almost, almost. <laughs> all right, so we're getting a layered map. Okay, and but due to the volume, we're creating a layered map for all areas. So they're only doing it for one for one point one area, and then they're gonna slowly add the rest of them. I mean, I was gonna, I was gonna complete everything beforehand, but we'll see. New map progress, quest progress. So now you can see the. To quest in the area, not just everything else. Oh, yo, expanded detection range? Maybe I should wait. <laughs> At this point, maybe I should wait just so I don't have to run around and keep pressing the loot mapper. Now it's even bigger. Quest and gallery system. New resonator gallery feature. So you can check out a resonator in an area. New dialogue. Dude, I don't care about the gallery, to be honest. But you can go back and check all the uh, the texts, the text stuff, and what the character said during the main quest and companion stories. But are you gonna add Jan's story in here? Like you can do it again. That is the main question. Uh, level requirement lower for some main quests. Okay, that's good. So now the newer players get access to the. They won't be blocked as long, right? I mean, I've been through it. It's not too bad, but they made it better, which is good. Which is good. No more number of types of guidebooks. Oh, so now there's more ways of getting activity points. Okay. Make it more enjoyable. Other experience optimization, new combat styles, categorized combat mechanics of different resonators. Wow. Okay. Traction, coordinated attack, vibration strength. Yo, that's the Yuan Wuringer. <laughs> Knockback, facial damage boost. And nice, nice. Now, can okay, he. Mm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say something. I was like, wait a minute. I think they have it already. New chat system style. So they're making the chat box bigger when you're using it. Not too bad. I wish we could like change the location. Like you can put a left side, right side, top le left, top right, move it around. Maybe in the future. Yeah. Controller mode interaction. Add new adjustment controller mode. Uh, you can invert horizontal and vertical. Okay, they're making they're making progress. Change the controller mode shortcut. Open chat and now open map. Enable key remapping for Sony controller. I have an Xbox controller, so oh, making a system with Xbox controllers. We have feedback. Okay, um, so that's pretty much it. Where's the Lin Yang buffs, man? They they should at least increase his like base damage kit, like just a little bit, or maybe some more. Not enough. Or maybe make it so that when he switch out, his forte stays the same or something. He gets them back. I don't know, man. Lin, Lin Yang needs to buff. People are talking about it. 
I feel like he needs a buff. And I mean gauntlets. <laughs> And where's the... Do they have controller support for mobile? I hear people wanting controller support for mobile. I don't think they, they asked us this. So they, they, they almost listen. Echo, the main problem of Echo EXP, not in here. So I don't know, man. <laughs> Did they really listen? Eh? But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and my reaction to reading this. Um... And I'll see you guys next time, alright? Later days.